Welcome back, everybody. Level in Diecast, bringing you batch review time. Yes, it is Mix 6. This is the F case. This is the final case of 2022 for Matchbox. Uh, we're going to take a look at what is going on here. This is number 3 of 100. This is the McLaren 720S Spider in, you know, neon yellow, I guess you could say. does have the black D10 on there. Looks pretty good. It's pretty good, so pretty excited to get that one cracked open. As you guys know, Matchbox is got to be pushing EV cars, so we're going to have a whole bunch of EVs still here. Uh, number 32 of 100, this is the Citroën Ami. This also came in the France series as well, a little tiny micro car. So, yes, it does have an interior. Already, already confirmed that one. Rolling with even more EVs, this is the Volkswagen EV4, it is the Volkswagen ID. Uh, this is number uh, 44 of 100 in blue. That one looks pretty good. So, we get that guy taken care of as well. This is a, another color for the Tesla Model X, this is in white. Uh, this is number 59 of 100. Looks pretty good, looks a lot better than the red in my opinion. I think the white one looks pretty dang good. If I have to say so myself. Still rolling with the EVs. This is brand spanking new casting right here. So it was the Volkswagen. So it was the Citroen. This is the Ford Mustang Mach E. 65 of 100 in a deep metallic red. Looks very, very good. Cracking that guy open. Uh, pretty much the opposite of EV. Uh, this is the 32 Ford uh, Model B Coupe. Looks very good in just that standard blue card art. Looks fantastic. Number 66 of 100. The card art's just wicked on this one. Super wicked. Looks super, super good. Uh, definitely not an EV as well. This is the Cadillac CT5V. Number 72 of 100 in just standard red. Looks pretty good. I don't think this guy's going to be that great when we crack it open, but at least in the package, it looks pretty good. Uh, moving on to a generic, this is the Garbage King, however, this is a very decent generic. This one looks pretty good. This one is the uh, most realistic one, I guess you can say. 74 of 100, nothing really to say about this one. does look pretty good, though. This casting was modified uh, several years ago, taking away some of its good features. Audi e-tron, very, very, very nice one. This one looks fantastic in uh, basically Nagaro Blue. Uh, looks fantastic. Number 77 of 100. Definitely excited to get this one cracked open. I think this one looks fantastic. Very excited about that one. Uh, another generic. As a matter of fact, this is only the second time we've ever seen this casting. This is the MBX Armored Truck. First time it was in a white color. It is now in red. It is a plastic body. So we'll crack this guy open. I don't think there's going to be too many fans on this one, but... Every once in a while, they got to throw a little bit of something in there. Very, very nice one here. At least, you know, personally here, we're a little biased. We do like the Chargers. Very nice seeing the Charger Pursuit back. This is number 86 of 100. In NASA Patrol. Looks very, very good. I can't tell you how good it looks with those uh, hubs. Those disc hub wheels on there looks amazing. They definitely need to stick with the disc hub wheels for the remainder of its existence. More disc hub wheels. This is the 69 BMW 2002, number 87 in red. No chrome on this one. We did get chrome last year. We got the black one with chrome base, but this one we get kind of that off color, not really chrome base. They kind of kind of say is chrome, but it's not really chrome. Another one here, definitely not EV status. Uh, this is a Ryu Asada casting. It's pretty nice. This is the Subaru SVX in black number uh, 88 of 100 with those nice gold D10s on there. The card art does not look good on this one. Wheels don't look good on the card art. That's just my own personal opinion. You guys can definitely let me know if you like that card art or not. I just think the wheels are too small. A another generic casting. This is the Express Delivery. Again, this casting has been modified a couple times. Since it was a brand new casting, although this is a reoccurring theme, this Cargo Couriers, so very nice to add this one on there, just in dark blue, looks good. This one will be in FedEx Deco for 2023, very exciting about that one. It also gets a playset to go with it, so that's exciting. 
Uh, casting that's been around for a really long time, although this one has been updated uh, last couple of years. Uh, Volkswagen Beetle, the original Beetle, number 93 of 100, in a dark forest green with a gray base. White wheels look pretty good. Kind of like that combination on that guy. A couple more going on here, guys. This is a relatively large batch. This is the Toyota Land Cruiser FJ40. Been a little while since we saw this one just in the standard mainline. Uh, number 97 of 100. Of course, this was modified a few years ago. Took away some of the metal. But it is still a great casting. They are coming out with one with opening doors for the moving parts line. So that'll be a nice little addition for that. And then the last one we have here. This is the Jeep Wrangler Super Lift. This does carry that Matchbox Adventure logo that you see on the cards. A little bit of glare on there. So that is the logo there. So that's you know, carrying on there. That's kind of like what they're doing now. This is their new push or whatever. Uh, this is number 99 of 100. So this is the last car in the mix. So we'll get that guy off there. And you're probably saying, level M, I'm pretty sure there's supposed to be something else in that mix. There is supposed to be something else in that mix. As a matter of fact, he's been hiding in the back. That is what's in the mix. That is your Mix F Super Chase. That is the last Super Chase of 2022 for Matchbox. This is the Porsche 911 GT3. Um, in case you guys didn't know, it was Super Chase. Matchbox has been very adamant on plastering on the car that it is a Super Chase, uh, just in case you didn't know. But this one comes in black. Looks absolutely fantastic. And since this is technically now part of the straight line, we're just going to look at this one right now. This is the card in the back. Nothing fancy. It is not part of any particular series, segment, or anything else. It is a standalone model. Got this one from a friend. I was unfortunately not able to pull this off the pegs, but I did get one of these uh, in a trade. So pretty happy about that. I could bring this to you guys for the unboxing of the uh, you know batch review. So we're just going to go ahead and tear this guy right out of his blister because that is what we do. This is your Porsche Super Chase. Looking absolutely fantastic. It says Porsche on the side. It says SC for Super Chase. Super fast logo on there. It is in yellow, orange, and red. Do love the color combination. Uh, it does have the tri spokes. Um, this wheel, I think, has been used on this casting and premium before. So no surprise there, although I wish they would have done a different one. Nice full deets on the front. Looks fantastic. Porsche logo. Then you got the stripe going all the way down the center of the car in yellow. Headlights done up. Fantastic. Other deets on this side looking pretty good. Does have full rear tampo done up. Get that plate to focus. Does say MBX SC. So, if this is SC3. But it stands for Matchbox Super Chase. Does have your GT3 logo on there. Tail lights are done up. That looks pretty good. There you go. It does say SC3. So maybe that just means Matchbox Super Chase. Then maybe the fact that it's a GT3. I do like that Euro plate on there. Looks very, very good. There is your base deets on this one. Copyright 2007. They did not uh, give this a new copyright date when they changed the spoiler to metal. That happened a couple years ago. So there is your Super Chase. Looking absolutely money. Absolutely fantastic. Super great. So let's get to the uh, rest of the batch. All right, everybody, we're going to go through these. We're going to start with our BMW. This is number 87. 1969 BMW 2002 in red. We've seen this guy in a bunch of decos already. Uh, this one, you know, typically gets some pretty good details to it. Um, I believe it's always had front and rear tampos, which is what it needs which looks pretty good. I think this one kind of needs a chrome base though. I think that that's important. But outside of that, it looks really, really good, uh, especially in red. Uh, you know, kind of a blue colored window, a little bit. Uh, just a little bit, not too much color on there. Full front rear tampos looks very, very good. Disc hub wheels. Like I said, not an existing casting, or not a brand new casting, still looks pretty good though. So definitely like that one. I'm a BMW fan, BMW fan. Looks, looks good. Looks good. All right, next one we're going to take a look at. This one is absolutely ridiculous because of the disc wheels, the wheels that they chose. 
Uh, Dodge Charger Pursuit. This is number 86 of 100. This one is looking money. I think that the disc hub wheel is a perfect choice for this particular casting. I'm not really sure why it took them so long to do this. Um, to be honest with you, I was kind of weary that it would look good on the Charger, but it looks very utilitarian, exactly what you would expect from a police car. And it looks really good. This one in NASA Security Deco. Uh, this casting was modified a little while ago from its original version, which all they did was integrate the light bar. And this was a brand new casting. It just, you know, had a separate light bar. It looks pretty good, though. Uh, no front and rear tampos. It does have little corner lights on there. Uh, just part of the side pass looks pretty good. So I wish they could have at least done that on the premium version they did, but we didn't get that. Next one up, we're going to take a look. McLaren 720S Spider. Uh, number three of 100. This one looks ridiculous in this color. It's just a ridiculous color. Like, ridiculously good. Um, front and rear tampos look very, very good. It is, of course, the Spider. So it is a convertible top. Uh, they don't make a hard top one. Matchbox doesn't yet. Uh, they might at some point in time, but for now, it's, we just get this one. Looks pretty good. Uh, this one also, I believe, was in the France set in a gunmetal gray. So I still have that stuff coming up, guys. So bear with me on that one. But this one looks pretty good. Uh, basically blacked out front windshield, but that's just kind of the way it is. I think it looks good, though. It's still a good casting. They did a great job. Uh, just, you know, not something you'd expect to get from Matchbox and being with a McLaren. Looks pretty good. Next one up, this is the 32 Ford Model B. Uh, we've seen this a few times already, but this one looks especially good. Just especially, especially good uh, because it does have that kind of convoy style wheel on the back, um, which I think is just a perfect fit for that particular wheel. Uh, it does have just simple tampos on the front with just some grill details in there. Um, there is a little bit of black detail on the side vents of the hood as well. Looks pretty good. You know, being number 66 of 100, it's towards the end of the line, but looks still pretty good. Um, I think that the steel kind of blue color that's on there is extremely period correct. I think it looks very, very good. And, um, you know, you guys know I like 30s era cars. Not so much 30s era hot rods. I like more 30s era, you know, elegance and stuff like that, but... It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. So pull that guy off. All right. Yes, it has to happen, guys. It's just it's inevitable. There has to be generics. This one happens to be the armored truck, number 85100. As I mentioned before, this guy has only ever been seen once in his whole life, and it was in a white color. Um, don't remember what the deco was on the side, but, you know, you guys are seeing it. So it's all good. Uh, this one is particularly interesting. It does get additional tampo pass in the back, uh, which is, there's nothing wrong with that. I just, you know, there's a lot of other models they could have done that could have used an extra tampo pass. But I guess because this is a generic, they save a little bit of money on the casting itself. Um, they're able to do a little bit extra with the budget for that particular model. It does make it look a lot better with that CST print in the back. It does, it does. But again, generic. Not all that great. All right, next one up, taking a look at the Jeep Wrangler Superlift. This casting's been around for a little while as well. This was a multi-pack exclusive last year as well. This one is also in the uh, you know weekend cruiser set that's also hitting Walmart stores right about now. Uh, number 99 of 100, this does don that whole Matchbox Adventures logo on the side. It seems to be their new marketing push, so... That is there and ready to go. I did think that that was going to be a 2023 thing. And it probably is. It's just starting here and it's going to carry over until next year. Um, that logo will be on all the standard mainline stuff as well. Um, I'm not sure if there's, you know, some kind of promotion with it or if they're just, you know, marketing, doing their whole, you know, corporate thing that they got to do, which is good. Uh, this guy has been a bunch of decos, bunch of decos, just tons and tons and tons of decos, which... I think it's perfectly fine. It's a pretty good casting, um, you know, especially for the size. It's got to fit in the blister, but it's still it's still bulky enough. Still looks pretty good. Uh, that is a matte white, by the way, as well. It's not a gloss white or anything. So, very nice on the color choice. All right, here's one that I think everybody's going to love. This is the Toyota FJ Cruiser. 
the FJ40 is its designation. Uh, we have seen this casting many, 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 many times, although it did take a large hiatus when Mattel lost the Toyota license. Uh, when it came back, this was modified. The front fenders used to be part of the body front grille as well, and now those are modified to be part of the interior. So it is a, you know, can provide a color break, but it definitely looks better when they are, you know, colored with the rest of the vehicle. It does have some nice striping on the side, which, you know, relatively screams, you know, 70s, I guess you could say. Uh, this one, number 97 of 100. So you'll notice most all of these ones are right towards the end of the line. Obviously, it is the end of the year, so we're going to just roll with that one. All right, one more generic casting, um, and then we'll have just one more after that. This is the trash truck, a.k.a. the Garbage King, number 74 of 100. Uh, this particular one was modified about two or three years ago, maybe three or four years ago, um, to make the interior and the back part all the same piece. So that's why this model will have a blue interior and have a blue back in there because it is all one piece. You see the blue that comes in underneath the cab. So that white cab is the only thing on this entire model that is metal. The rest of it is entirely plastic, which is unfortunate. Uh, the old version also used to have a movable thing in the back. So you can kind of simulate that it was crushing trash or whatever. And it was just part of the interior piece. It wasn't anything like, you know, added to be a moving part per se. It was just a clever use of existing parts, which was pretty good. This one is decoed up on the side. We'll see what that logo says real quick. Pacific Northwest Annotation. So there you go. Volkswagen Beetle. I don't even know what to say with this, this casting. This casting has been around for a very long time. Um, it was modified. There's so many versions. There's so many versions of this 62 Beetle. Um, this one looks fantastic, though. It's a brand new version. Kind of a darker green. Looks good. Front and rear tampos. Does have plate detail on there. White painted hubs look good. Great base. So very nice to get uh, new versions of these. However, like I mentioned, the casting was updated a bit uh, a couple years ago. And so even if they were to re-release old decos... They would be on the new updated casting, which would be a plus for sure. Uh, number 93 of 100. So we're getting right down to the nitty gritties with these uh, releases. Um, there will be, I believe, a couple of models uh, carried over to 2023 AK, case, but we'll see where we're at when we're done. All right, this is the very last generic in the mix. This is the Express Delivery. Uh, this guy debuted... Um, about 10 years ago, I'd say, um, with the speedy delivery on the side, the white and orange looked very, very good. It was an all-metal casting, uh, well, you know, metal casting and plastic base. Uh, it used to have an opening door in the back. Uh, the casting was modified, uh, moved from a metal body to a plastic body. And then, of course, they still had the opening door. Uh, but then they retooled it, and now it no longer has an opening door. That is fixed, and they put a clear roof on the top. So you can see down into it, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Um, there's nothing in there. So it's just open. There's no packages on either side. Um, you know, there's there's an interior in there, obviously, but there's no nothing in there to be a, you know, modified version, different, different interiors like they've been doing for a little while. So it still looks pretty good. I do like the reoccurring theme. The cargo theme is a very nice reoccurring theme. Uh, we've got that probably more than a dozen times on various models. So be something to maybe look forward to uh, sometime in the future. Might be able to pull all those out or something. We'll see. We'll see. All right. This is the last existing casting in the mix. This is the Subaru SVX in black. Number 88 of 100. I do like the fact that they did get the taillights to wrap around. Looks pretty good. Do have a little bit of print. On the front corner lights as well. I think this car in black with gold wheels is fantastic. Looks absolutely great. Definitely, definitely like this guy. Obviously, there is an interior in there. It does have open windows. Uh, the top is just very, 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 very dark, um, which is perfectly fine. I mean, it's, it's you know, the roof and the windows all in one piece. So you're probably always going to have it be dark. 
Uh, but this one looks pretty good. I do like this one a lot. It is a very uh, desirable casting. We haven't seen it all that many times. We've seen about four versions. One of those versions being a premium, uh, which actually just came out this year. So that looks pretty good. So now that we've covered the existing castings, let's go ahead and move on to our brand spanking new castings in the mix. First one we're going to take a look at, this is the Audi e-tron in a Nagaro blue. It's Nagaro blue. I'm telling you it's Nagaro blue. Uh, this is the same color of blue that the Audi TT deb debuted on uh, a few years ago when that was a new casting. Uh, looks absolutely fantastic. Love that color. Um, you know, and if you guys ever watch Doug DeMiro review cars, you'll know that he loves that color too as he's got a, uh, a RS2 uh, wagon in Nagaro blue looks fantastic. So this one has front rear tampos, looks very, very good. Of course, the blue is the knockout gunmetal gray D10s on this particular one. Take a look at our base deets, see what we got going on here. R30 is our base codes. There is your Audi e-tron. This is matchbox number 1299. As we continue to move up in the man numbers, Take a look at the details on this since this is a new casting. Just roll through with the good deets. The front looks especially good. The prints looked very, very good on this one. Prints turned out very, very good. So pretty happy about that one. Very happy about that one, actually. All right, moving on to the very next one. Yes, it is more electronic cars. Electric cars, however you want to say this is the Volkswagen EV4, which is the Volkswagen ID. I do believe they call this the EV4 because then it can kind of just cover every market. Um, I don't believe it's called the ID4 in other markets, but it is called the ID4 in the US. This guy is in dark blue. And like a lot of other castings we've been seeing, the entire top is one plastic piece, um, which I think works fine. They do have the silver printing on there, which I think is a necessity. I think it's kind of interesting that they build the models this way. I think they're doing that to avoid more metal, which is uh, kind of an easy way to do it. Um, the problem is, is you're typically always going to have to have dark color roofs, which is obviously not the most ideal. But we'll, we'll get through these electric vehicles. You know, Matchbox is going to get kind of away from those next year. So now that we have all these EVs currently, take a look at our base Dietz. They just call it the Volkswagen Electric Vehicle 4. Matchbox 1287 is the man code. So that looks pretty good. Just some deets on here. There is your front prints look extremely good. Volkswagen logo in there. The silver striping on the side looks pretty good. Details on the back. Yeah, a really, really good tampo version on this one. I really like that. I like when I get a good tampo version. And yes, there is an interior in there, in case you guys are curious. There is an interior in there, for sure. All right, you guys ready for micro car action? Because this thing is tiny. This thing is like the smart car. You guys remember the smart car? Wish Matchbox would bring that one back. That would be pretty cool. Uh, this is the Citroen Ami. This is an electric car. Obviously, this is never going to be sold in the U.S., but... At least as people here in the U.S., we can have a little toy model of it. Looks pretty good. Like I mentioned before, it does have an interior in there. But just like the previous one that we just looked at, that Volkswagen, the entire top is also plastic as well. So very little metal on this model as well, just because it's it's tiny. It's tiny. It does have front and rear tampos. Looks pretty good. This guy was also in the France set. Um, and so I don't think there'll be any difference between the two. As a matter of fact, they were probably assembled on the line probably around the same time. But it still looks pretty good. So we'll take a look at this guy. Get some up-close shots. Looks pretty good with the Citroen logo on there. I really like the uh, small six spokes with that orange chrome stripe on the side. Looks very, very good. There is the rear end. Then take a look at our base deets. Look how teeny tiny this thing is. Made in Thailand. Man number is 1279. So there you go. 2021 Citroen Ami. 
All right, and we're going to flip the script because we're going to go right back to the U.S. now. We're going to take a look at this guy. This is the 2021 Ford Mach-E. This uh, particular car is gaining some traction in the die-cast world. Uh, we now have a Matchbox version. Hot Wheels has already made a race version. And Greenlight is doing one as well. So if you are a fan of the Mach-E, you have several flavors to choose from, although... This one looks fantastic. This is obviously the best one yet. This is just factory. This one comes in a dark, deep metallic red. Looks very good. Um, does have you know metal across the stripe on the side of the you know, top of the doors and stuff like that. But the roof itself is plastic, perfectly fine. This model does come with a large panoramic glass roof on the top. Number sixty-five of one hundred does look good with the chrome detents on there. I think it's a pretty good look. Oh, dropping him. Take a look at our base deets. There you go. Matchbox number is 1303. 2022 Mattel. So you can tell this one was right at the end. This one was actually finalized this year. Front prints look pretty good. You have your, you know, Mustang logo there in the fake grill. Take a look at the back. The knockoff, uh, Mustang taillights to say Mach-E on the plate. Looks pretty decent. Of course, this guy does have an interior in there. You just can't really see it. Still looks pretty good. Some pretty giant mirrors on there as well. So, interesting look to say the least. All right, now this is a new casting this year, yes. However, this is the second time we're seeing this Tesla Model X. Uh, we did see this one in red previously. Now, one of the things that Matchbox started doing last year is that certain models get a second color, and they are considered a, another part of the segment. They are not a recolor like Hot Wheels does. They are an actual model. So you have your red one, which was one number, and now you have this white one, which is a separate number, uh, which happens to be 59. This one, of course, does have the glass roof, like a, most of these EV SUVs have done for Matchbox, kind of the way they've been assembling it. I kind of think that that's an easy way out to avoid the metal. This one looks pretty good. I think this one looks better than the red one, just my personal opinion. Let me know what you guys think about it. Um, it's kind of nice being able to see so much of the interior, but maybe just a little bit more tint on the window probably would have been a little bit better for this guy. So, covered this model already, but there is the front deets. It is a full-on Tesla. It does look pretty good. It does have gray painted uh, D10s look pretty good. Zero emissions on the plate. This one kind of mimics the uh, white Tesla that they did in the Mattel Creations. 1286 is the man number on the bottom. So that was looking pretty good. All right, very last one in the mix. This is the Cadillac CT5V. This one is number 72 of 100. This is another brand new casting this year, however. This is not an EV. Very, very much not an EV. Uh, this is the high-performance version of the CT5. The casting does not look that great. Um, I'll be honest with you. I, I don't. It's too skinny. You know, the details are there. All the details are there. It's just the casting is too skinny. Um, it needs to be a little bit wider, just a little bit more heft to it. Um, and I think it would have been perfectly fine. I think with the details, it's good enough. Um... I just, you know, just my personal opinion, I just don't think this casting is all that great. Now, if we see this in a much better color with maybe a different wheel, who knows? Maybe it'll be more appealing, but the casting itself is here to stay, obviously. So, it is what it is. Full front rear tampos, though, looks pretty good. Take a look at our base deets. Cadillac CT5V Blackwing. This is man number 1293. So pretty good details on the base. I do like that. There is the profile. The front tampos look pretty good. There's the side profile. I mean, it's the details are there. It's just the casting is just too small, too skinny. Uh, it does say CT5 on the plate. Let's kind of get that to focus a little bit. A little bit, maybe. Ooh. Let's try and Sorry about that. It's very difficult to get that to uh, focus there. So there you go. That is the CT5. So batch review. 
that guy definitely deserves to be on the podium for sure. But that is the F case for Matchbox 2022. That is the very last mix of the year. Um, we'll see where that puts us. And um, I think that we'll probably have a couple of cars carry over to the 2023 A case, which is perfectly fine. Um, that's typically what happens with, with you know the blue brand as well. But they're going out with a bang. So hopefully you guys can score yourself one of these Porsches. Hopefully I can score myself another one. But uh, we'll see We'll see how it goes. So there you go. Let me know what your thoughts about that. Let me know what you think about the F case. Let me know if you have a plus minus of anything in there. Let me know if you found this Porsche on the pigs. If you have, congratulations. Happy for you. Um, hopefully we don't get uh, matchbox collectors, uh, you know, scalped out of being able to get these by, you know, blue brand collectors. So we'll see how it rolls. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. We're going to roll out level in the case. Peace.